fellow starseeds, I am Julie Joy, your servant of the light, with another message for you today from the Ninth Dimensional Arcturian Council, as channeled by Daniel Scranton, for June 23rd, 2024. And the title of this message is Lightworkers, You Are Being Readied for This. And they begin greetings. We are the Arcturian Council. We are pleased to connect with all of you. We are searching at times, just as you are, for something that will bring us into a higher vibrational state. It is true what they say, as above, so below. We do seek and we do wonder. We do have desires and we do have that which is not fulfilled to experience. And all of us makes us very qualified to help you. Just because we don't have physical bodies doesn't mean that we cannot relate to all of you there in the physical and on planet Earth. We know what drives us can be different from what drives some of you because we don't have physical pleasure to pursue. But we also see how those pursuits are empty and we notice that everyone involved in those pursuits eventually feels that emptiness even if only temporarily. We notice that you all have a tendency to seek outside of yourselves to such an extent that you can become addicted to some aspect of the physical. And we do not have anything to get addicted to here in the non-physical. But what we would say that what you want to experience more than anything else that is troubling to you on some level of your consciousness is a lack of sense of purpose. We speak to so many who feel that way and and we so want to help all of you who feel that way to understand that sometimes your purpose hasn't shown up yet. When you are waiting for that inspiration, for that purpose to show up, there's a lot you can do. There's a lot you can release and resolve. There is a lot within you that you can clear to make space for that moment of inspiration, to make space for those energies that will fill you up before coming forth from you. So while working on yourself does not seem like a purpose and isn't very flashy, it still is a part of the purpose that you have there on earth. If everyone just hit the ground running from the moment they could run, it would be a much different environment than what you'd be living in. Sometimes it is the boredom that sets in that gives some of you the impression that your life is not serving a purpose for you or anyone else. When you do not feel like you know what your purpose is, make sure you are making room in yourself and in your life for your purpose to come along. In other words, do that clearing work. Release that which is no longer serving you and that which is not yours to begin with and let yourself be your purpose for a while. The world you are living on right now is changing dramatically. There will be so many different jobs, careers, and businesses in the future and some of you will create them. But this much we know is true. Those of you who do not feel that you have a purpose right now are being readied for your purpose. And when you cannot see the broader picture of that, it is hard for you to trust, and it is hard for you to have patience. But these are the things you must have in order to eventually let that inspired thought, that inspired idea, that impulse that takes you to it. We also know that you do tend to associate purpose with some sort of action or some sort of career, but that is not always the case. So many people there are holding space for others, holding a high vibration to balance the energies there. So many people are meditating, chanting, oming, and doing whatever they can to raise the level of consciousness. You need to let go of that idea that your purpose is always about an action that you take and you also need to be aware of how much is inside of you still waiting to come out. Be aware of how much there is inside of you that you can tap into right now while you are demonstrating your trust and your patience in something that will be more of an outward expression of that universe that exists inside each and every one of us. We invite you to relax more to let go and eventually let in that which will inspire you to be the purpose, the being, the love that you were always meant to be and that you were destined to be in this lifetime. We are the Arcturian Council and we have enjoyed connecting with you. Another lovely inspiring message from the Arcturian Council as channeled by Daniel Scranton 
His own website is his name, danielscranton.com. Please stop by there and see everything Daniel has to offer. He's a very hardworking guy. Also, if you would like to watch Daniel channel the Arcturian Council, you can do so on YouTube on his own channel, which is simply his name again, Daniel Scranton. I will be able to post the words to this message below in the show more section. I am Julie Joy, your servant to the light. And it is always my honor and with deep gratitude I bring these powerfully inspiring messages to each one of you. And please don't forget to create a great day. Mm-hmm.